Hi guys, I'm Rio from Live by Centennial. Today we're going to be going over how to properly store and maintain your glue so that you have the best intention. When I first started lashing, I would start shaking my glue shaker at the beginning of my day for about two minutes up and down like this. I realized that that's not the best way to do it by hand. If you're going to do it by hand, you're going to want to shake it side to side. The reason for that is because if you're shaking it up and down, you're going to get glue stuck in the nozzle and it won't be shaken properly and then you won't be using good glue on your clients. However, shaking it for two minutes side to side can get annoying throughout your day. So what I like to use is our glue shaker. All you're going to do is put the glue in the bottom, keep it right side up so that the cap is always facing the ceiling, press the power button, and you're only going to have to do this for about 15 seconds once or twice throughout your lash day. After 15 seconds, I'll take the glue out of the shaker and we like to drop a new glue drop every 10 minutes to ensure that we're always putting on fresh glue to our clients. After I drop it, I'll go ahead and wipe the glue off on foil. The reason we want to use foil is because sometimes cyanacrylate mixed with cotton can cause fires. In order to make sure that your glue is always kept at the best temperature, you want to make sure that your lash room is kept around 68 to 71 degrees. At night when we leave, I always make sure that I put my glue into the bag and seal it completely and just leave it sitting on my desk right side up. You don't want to leave it in the fridge or leave it in rice. Neither of those are going to help keep it longer. Um, just right side up in the bag sitting on your table. Sometimes when you drop a new glue dot, you'll see an air bubble start to form in the nozzle. This means that you'll have to burp the glue to get everything out so you always have fresh adhesive. The way you burp the glue is you're just going to put it over the foil and push until you see the air bubble start to come out and then that little bit of glue, the bubble pops and then you just wipe and set it right side up again. The reason we burp the glue is to make sure that all of the old glue is out of the nozzle and that the next glue has all the ingredients mixed. So those are the best practices to get the most out of your glue. Are you guilty of shaking your bottle up and down? Let us know in the comments below. You can check out our next video by tapping on the screen.